Hello everyone, welcome to Explorer Hop. Today we will be finding the key features of the function f of x is equal to 1 over x minus 4. So to find the vertical asymptote, which is the first thing we will look for, we have to plug in the denominator as 0. Once we do that, we can solve for x and we get that as 4. Therefore, the vertical asymptote is equal to 4. Now let's try to solve for the horizontal asymptote. To find the horizontal asymptote, we need to look at the degree of the numerator and the denominator, which in this case, the highest degree basically, which in this case is 0 in the numerator and 1 in the denominator since the power of x is 1 and there is no variable in the numerator therefore it's 0. Now that we have that we know that the numerator is lower than the denominator and from the lesson we have learned when that happens the horizontal asymptote is always 0 y equals to 0. So now we have the vertical asymptotes and the horizontal asymptotes. Now let's figure out the domain and range. So for the domain of our function f of x is equals to 1 over x minus 4, we simply need to know what the vertical asymptote is. And the vertical asymptote is 4. Since the vertical asymptote is 4, our domain will be all values of x besides x equals to 4. And now we can do the same thing for the range, but in the case of the range, we don't look at the domain, rather we look at the, we sorry, we don't look at the vertical asymptote, rather we look at the horizontal asymptote which in this case is 0. Therefore, the range is all values of y besides y equals to 0. So now we have the range, we have the domain, we have the horizontal asymptote, and we have the vertical asymptote. Now that we have all these stuff, there's, uh, there's some other key features remaining. For example, the x and y intercepts. How do we do that? We can find out x intercepts by x intercepts by plugging y equals to zero in our function, which in this case would be zero is equals to. 1 over x minus 4. If we take this to this side, this becomes 0 equals 1, which is not possible. Therefore, the, there are no x intercepts. Now let's find out the y intercepts. For the y intercepts, we basically have to plug in x as 0. So if you plug in x as 0, we get y equals 1 over 0 minus 4, which is y equals 1 over minus 4, which is equal to minus 0 0.25. Therefore, y intercept is equal to minus 0 0.25. Now that we have that, we can also find the positive and negative intervals of the function. Positive and negative intervals. To find these, we can find these by looking at the behavior of the function before and after the vertical asymptote. We know that the vertical asymptote is equals to 4. It was equals to x is equals to 4, which is if you draw the graph, which would look something like over here. So now, we can 
plug in a smaller number than four and plug in a number greater than four into our function. So our function is f of x is equals to one over x minus four. First, let's plug in f of three, and then let's plug in f of five. And let's see what we get, one over three minus four is equals to one over minus one, which is equals to minus one. And for f of five, we get one over five minus four is equals to one over one, which is equals to one. So f of three is minus one, which is less than zero, and f of five, which is one, is greater than zero. Therefore, function is above zero or positive for x values greater than one. Sorry, for x values greater than four and it is below zero or x values smaller than four. This is where the interval is positive or negative or we can write this as function is positive when x is greater than four function is negative when x is less than four now that's this is our positive negative interval our y intercept is minus 0 0.25 there is no x intercept then we have the range which is all values of y besides y equals to zero domain is all values of x besides x equals to four our horizontal asymptote is y equals to zero and our worst vertical asymptote is x equals to four those are all the key features of our function and thank you for joining me i'll see you in the next lesson